A decade may now have passed, but Jeanne Charles de Menezes has not been forgotten. A 27-year-old shot dead by police, mourned today by family and friends, as well as those who never met him. And here at Stockwell Tube Station, at seven minutes past 10, the exact moment officers opened fire, silence for an innocent man. This is a really emotional, really difficult day for me, uh, for my family. And, uh, but it's also a special day because we're here to remember him. And how do you remember your cousin as you look at his face there? <laughs> oh, there are so many good memories that I've got. The family feel they've done all they can to keep Gian Charles's memory alive. But now, 10 years on, the one thing they say they still want, above all, is justice. And no more so is that felt than in his hometown of Gonzaga in eastern Brazil, where they still can't believe no British police officer has faced a criminal trial. It adds to the pain of Jean Charles's mother. I remember him in every way. I remember him growing up, at school, smiling at me, saying he was okay. I will never forget my son since the day he was born until I saw him being buried. On the day he died in July 2005, London was on high alert. A fortnight after 7-7, a day after more failed attacks, and armed police mistook Jean Charles for one of the would-be bombers. They followed him onto a tube train and shot him seven times in the head. As I understand the situation, the man was challenged and refused to obey police instructions. But soon the police conceded he was an innocent electrician on his way to work. Ten years on, European judges are now considering whether individual officers should be prosecuted. Imagine you live a normal life, doing nothing wrong, and all of a sudden you're shot in the head by someone who should be there to protect you. The British police are considered to be the best in the world. I think they deserve a very strong punishment. A day of painful memories, but the Menezes' fight goes on. Nick Beek, BBC London News, Stockwell.